I think the uh, where we made our biggest stride this spring practice was compared to the first scrimmage, the this scrimmage was our physicality. I felt like it was more physical this year. And as the spring went on, I felt like the leadership with Josh and Square and even myself, getting the young guys to come along and having less minimal stakes as we added on from install one to as we got to install two and so forth and so on. And I really just feel like the leadership was the big thing on this uh, sp uh, spring. Nick Roush. How would you just evaluate uh, the defense's performance uh, in today's scrimmage? Uh, really just guys flying around, being physical. It's one of the one things I know the coaches look at. And them communicating, hand signals, talking, and uh, also just getting lined up right, knowing what they're doing and making tackles. That's the big thing about the scrimmage, you know. In practice, we tag off. You say, oh, I got it. But in the scrimmage, you really see, like, oh, I don't got it or, or I really do got it. You know, am I really going to make the play? I know uh, Coach Cohen said he was going to make things more complicated on the offense this time around. Mm -hmm. Could you could you notice that they were getting a little more complex with their calls and the kind of stuff they were throwing at y'all? Oh, of course. All the calls are kind of complex, something different that we haven't seen or uh, are used to. But as long as we just kept our eyes right and looked at our keys, uh, we really didn't have a problem with it. But when we didn't have our eyes right, they created explosive and big plays. Lonnie? Uh, you, uh, you've heard a lot about the uh, you know, defense performance and how you all have progressed. And also, uh, I just want to ask you a question about who uh, we, we've heard a lot about Wondell Robinson. But aside from him, who else do you think is giving you the biggest challenge as far as uh, the offense is concerned from the wide receiver perspective? Uh, from the wide receiver perspective, I felt like Cleveland was giving us a lot of work, especially when, uh, with me in the slot. Also, Josh Ali with his quickness and explosiveness, and also Isaiah Epps with his route running ability. And also, Isaiah Cummins being a big body guy. I mean, we got all the receivers really been working at that position and trying to, you know, step up. And when they come in, try to make plays. John Wong. Hey, Yusuf, as one of the leaders on the defensive unit, what are you going to be doing to help hold everybody accountable once practice ends throughout the summer months? Well, just getting the young guys together, any person that needs help on the defense, just uh, getting them together, make sure that they know the plays, know how to get lined up, and just make sure they don't leave early. You know, like uh, I'll probably take a young guy after spring or spring ball. If they didn't have a good spring, just uh, we'll come up and actually watch practice with the coaches or it would just be me and him one-on-one -on -one type of session type deal and just correct the things that he need to work on, not just on him, but also correcting myself as well. Have you or some of the other guys, some of your teammates actually gotten together and said, hey, this is the way that we're going to do this. This is how we're going to kind of hold their feet to the fire? Of course. I, it's been many times where I guess Stoops has a, gave us a day off or right after spring practice, I'll call a def, defensive back meeting with all the safeties and all the corners, and we'll go up and watch film, and I'll be like, this is not our standard or this is how we need to run this play right here, or your eyes ain't right, and uh, things like that. And also helping me out with, is D-Rob and Sez doing a good job. Also getting the uh, other safeties and other cornerbacks right. And Tyrell, even though he's uh, injured right now, he's also doing a great job. And I just also want to say that Taj and uh, and uh, Jalen Geiger has been doing an excellent job. I feel like if any of us go down or even us can't play due to target and stuff, if they're thrown in the fire, I feel real confident them competing and actually taking our spot. and not having to step back. Thank you. Nick? Uh, Coach Stoops said that Josh Pascal's really stepped up even even more. What, what does that look like? What, what has he done uh, that's, that's really made a difference this spring? Blowing up plays. I mean, I've, I'll sit back and watch film, and the play hasn't even developed yet. You see Josh in the backfield. I mean, he's really – I'm telling you, he's really going to have a big season this year. I've been seeing a lot about Josh. Even as me as a secondary person, even me, when I'm, you know, reading my keys, I just hear the whistle blow, and I was like, I only took two steps. Like, what happened? And he's like, oh, it's Josh. He's already in the backfield. Oh, he already sat the quarterback. Oh, he already touched the ball carry. So he's going to really have a – he's really going to be great for us this year. Larry? Yusuf, just wonder if you could tell me what you saw from Vito Tisdale th this spring. Did you see improvement from him, and what kind of role do you think he can play? Uh, for Vito, I feel like he's really been in his book lately. I've been quizzing him a lot, make sure that he stays in his book, and I feel like the knowledge and being more comfortable, he's he's doing a better job at that. Adam? 
Hey, Yusuf, um, your recruiting class 2017, mm -hmm. if you look at the defense, it's you, Ty, Josh, you just said, said Dort. Um, how much how, how much does that help to have, you know, guys you've known for a long time now and played with that familiarity um, from going up, growing up as recruits together and now you're all fifth year redshirt seniors going into uh, your last ride? It actually feels great that we all kind of really that group of 2017 class sticking together. I mean, I remember coming in and we just all was going to wait our turn. Like, it was really no talk about transferring and leaving and things like that. Like, we really stuck together. It's really a brotherhood here, and we just really wait our turn. And I guess this, I guess we the old heads now. I never really seen it coming, but it's a great feeling being out there with all, with all those guys from my class. John Hale. So if you mentioned Jalen and Taj, what specifically have those guys done behind you all to really make an impact this spring? Well, not just them being good at one position, free or strong, but we've been putting them at a lot of medium and nickel, and those guys making minimal mistakes as possible, and those guys getting a lot of reps in the scrimmage, even though they're tired, making less mental mistakes and making plays on the ball and just doing the little things right. Just, you know, when this class moves on or whenever we throw them in the fire in the game, they, they're going to be ready. And I'm, comfortable, and I'm comfortable if they're sitting right beside me or, you know, if D-Rob or Ty, if they need a break and they throw them in the game, I'm very comfortable having them in the game. Knowing that I don't have to check anything for them, I'm, I'm, just, I'm just really excited for them. Lonnie? Uh, Yusuf, uh, <coughs> Coach White uh, made a comment that uh, if you see a player raise his hand, want to come out of the game, he's not wired right. Mm -hmm. Talk about that. <laughs> you agree with that and talk about that. Cause yeah, oh, that's just saying. really mental toughness. I mean, if we're going through the scrimmage or you're going in the game and you want to get out and it's crunch time, then this is not the defense you need to be on. That's point blank, period. And it, and it says some, especially out there in the scrimmage or in the game, you tired and your teammates and we need you and you just give up, sort of say on this like that. That's, that's not the type of players we need. Okay. All right, Yusuf, thank you for your time. We appreciate it. All right, thank you.